A line out the door at the Sun Valley Community Center Saturday morning as voters wait to be among the first to cast their ballots this year. Early voting is a uniquely Nevada experience. Some states have it, but they don't have it like we do. Uh, over half of the Nevadans will cast their ballot prior to Election Day, and they'll do it in, in libraries, community centers, supermarkets. Uh, you know, we may be the only jurisdiction in the country where you're likely to hear a call for a wet mop at voting booth number eight, but it works for us. Secretary of State Ross Miller joined the Progressive Leadership Alliance of Nevada at their kickoff rally in Sun Valley. They're encouraging everyone who's registered to cast their vote. This is a neighborhood that doesn't have a lot of high turnout on either side of the aisle. But, you know, we want to make sure people see that voting isn't some drag. It's Voting can be fun. We have a mariachi here. We have panduste and refreshments. And that it's something that's easy, but it's very, very important that you have your say. And if you're eligible, you need to vote. And the Secretary of State's office is hoping to raise awareness through social media. Voters are invited to tweet at the polls. If you post under the hashtag, did you vote, question mark, and show of hands. Uh, when you're at your polling location, come up with a, a clever hand signal. We've got a couple of examples. One would be like IV, I voted. Uh, a second one is the international uh, sign language, which is uh, putting the ballot in the box. And so we're going to take the best photos that we see out there and post them on our Facebook page, and hopefully people can spread the word uh, that people need to get out to the polls. I hope that um, no matter the group, no matter the side, that stuff like this is happening all over the state, that people are explaining to all eligible Nevadans that they need to get out there and they need to participate and vote. There are more people registered to vote in Nevada than ever before, which could very well lead to record voter turnout. Reporting from our mobile newsroom in Sun Valley, Chris Buckley, Colo 8 News Now.